African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 22nd of July, 2023. According to confirmed information, on July 6th, as a result of a group strike with long-range, sea-based precision weapons on the territory of the National Army Academy in Lvov, a large number of Polish and German mercenaries stationed there have been destroyed. In total, 4,990 foreign militants have been killed during the special military operation. In addition, 4,910 mercenaries escaped from the battlefield leaving the territory of Ukraine. The armed forces of the Russian Federation will continue the targeted destruction of foreign mercenaries on the territory of Ukraine. The armed forces of Ukraine continued unsuccessful attempts to conduct offensive actions in Donetsk, Krasny Lyman, South Donetsk, and Zaporizhzhia directions. In Donetsk direction, as a result of coordinated and active actions by units of the U Group of Forces, Aviation and Artillery, 14 enemy attacks have been successfully repelled near Belogorovka, Berestovoy, Spornoi, Zaitsevo, and Kleshchivka, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, armed forces of Ukraine 28th, 60th, 115th Mechanized, 10th Mountain Assault and 81st Airmobile Brigades, as well as two field camps of foreign mercenaries, have been hit close to Zoloteryovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Veseloy, and Yasnogorka, Donetsk People's Republic. Ammunition depots of the 24th and 28th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have been destroyed near Novgorodskoy and Konstantinovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up 280 Ukrainian servicemen, three armored fighting vehicles, five motor vehicles, one Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system, and three D-30 howitzers. In Krasny Lyman direction, as a result of coordinated actions by aviation, artillery, heavy flamethrower systems, and units of the center group of forces, seven enemy attacks have been repelled close to Karmazinovka, Kremenea, Novo Vadianoi, and Chervanaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, units of 21st, 66th, and 67th Mechanized Brigades of Armed Forces of Ukraine have been eliminated close to Kovaliovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Terny and Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The activities of one Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group have been suppressed close to Chervanaya Dibrova, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 170 Ukrainian servicemen, seven armored fighting vehicles, five pickup trucks, one Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer, two Gvostika self-propelled artillery systems, as well as one D-30 howitzer. In South Donetsk direction, as a result of the actions by aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrower systems of the Vostok group of forces, three enemy attacks have been repelled near Eurozainoi and Pryetnoi, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, enemy manpower and hardware concentration areas of the 23rd Mechanized Brigade and the 129th Territorial Defense Brigade have been hit close to Staromerskoy and Pryetnoi, Donetsk People's Republic. In Zaporizhzhia direction, as a result of active actions by the group's artillery and units, activities of two Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups have been suppressed near Lugovskoy and Marfopol, Zaporizhzhia region. Russian troops launched an attack on manpower and hardware of the 33rd, 47th, and 65th Mechanized Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine close to Malayatok Machka, Novodanilovka, and Novopokrovka, Zaporizhzhia region. The enemy losses were up to 190 Ukrainian servicemen, two tanks, six armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, one Stabi howitzer, one U.S. manufactured M777 artillery system, and one U.K. manufactured FH-70 howitzer. In Kupansk direction, as a result of actions by aviation and artillery of the Zapad group of forces, manpower and hardware of the 14th Mechanized Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade have been hit close to Novomlinsk, Tabievka, Kharkov region, and Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic. 
In addition, one Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance group has been destroyed near Novosiolovskoy, Lugansk People's Republic. The enemy losses were up to 110 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, and two D-20 howitzers. In Kherson direction, the enemy losses were over 30 Ukrainian servicemen, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, and two D-30 howitzers. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Missile Troops and Artillery of the Armed Forces of the Russian Federation have neutralized 94 Armed Forces of Ukraine Artillery Units at their firing positions, manpower and hardware in 117 areas. 1. Temporary Deployment Point of Foreign Mercenaries Unit has been hit close to Goncharovskoy, Chernigov region. In addition, an aviation fuel storage has been destroyed at the Kanatovo Air Base of the Ukrainian Air Force, Kirovograd region. Air defense facilities have intercepted 15 Mars multiple launch rocket system projectiles, three harm anti-radiation missiles, and one storm shadow cruise missile. In addition, 15 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been destroyed close to Kremenea, Lugansk People's Republic, Golovka, Novo Bakhmatovka, Novo Krenka, Donetsk People's Republic, Priobrazenka, Novo Pokrovka, Nestorianka, Zaporizhzhia region, and Sadovoy, Kherson region. In total, 456 airplanes, 243 helicopters, 5,169 unmanned aerial vehicles, 426 air defense missile systems, 10,811 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,139 fighting vehicles equipped with MLRS, 5,562 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 11,803 special military motor vehicles have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.